Hello, my beautiful people. What's good? Thank you so much for tuning in. I'm so happy that you've joined me here. Now, in today's video, I'm going to take you guys through a bunch of random items that I've really been enjoying. So apart from the usual makeup, skincare, hair care that I'm always talking about, we have some tools, we have some accessories and a lot more items in today's video. You must have noticed that I stopped doing monthly favorites. It's mainly because every single month i don't have that many favorites so i'd rather do a random favorites video where i talk about a bunch of items that i've really been enjoying over one or two or three months or even more now if you're watching me for the first time then hi my name is preeti i'm india's first cruelty free beauty blogger i generally talk about products that are not tested on animals but in today's video we're going to talk about a lot more random stuff if this is the kind of content you resonate with then please subscribe to my youtube channel and continue watching today's video the first product is from Code Beauty and this is a luxury vegan brush and sponge bath. So this is basically a soap and you need to dampen your brushes, swirl it in and boom, your brush is super clean. You don't have to soak your makeup brushes in soapy or shampooy water, wait for 15-20 minutes and then your brushes crack in that process. I mean, we've all been there. So this makes the process a whole lot easier absolutely love it man it doesn't leave any residue at all it's vegan friendly as well this doesn't perform the best with my sponges so i like to soak my sponges especially in dish washing liquid because it removes all that grease from the foundation but with all of my makeup brushes this is my go-to i don't have to waste time you know a lot of times i soak in my makeup brushes and then i forget this happens to me every time, every single time. And then I have these tiny cracks all over my makeup brushes. I've ruined so many makeup brushes because of that. It might seem like a costly affair. Like this one is about $8.99, but this is going to last you easily eight or nine months. Easily. And if you don't use makeup brushes very often, if you're not a makeup artist, if you're not a content creator, then this will last you one or two years minimum. This is the thickening tonic from Aveda. This is fantastic. If you want to give yourself volume, especially on your scalp, and you want to make your hair feel and appear fluffier and thicker this is fantastic this and even the volumizing spray both work pretty much the same way on my hair like i've used it today very very little look at how fluffy my hair looks this is fantastic so after shampoo conditioning after some leave-in then apply this on damp hair not on dripping wet hair and then blow dry your hair this and the volumizing spray both of them you don't have to layer both of them together either or works perfectly fine a little goes a long way you don't have to go ham applying a lot of it because it could make your hair feel very um i don't know how do you say straw like like very dry because it does have those agents in them i still can't believe i didn't speak about this earlier but anyway this is fantastic strongly recommended just a heads up you guys there's a lot of music in the background because people have started to bring their ganpati idols as i'm recording this it's ganpati festival in about a day or two i think it's already going to start by the time this video goes live so just a heads up but the show must go on so let's go ahead now this is the denman brush that i absolutely Absolutely love this does such a fantastic job with adding some definition to your waves so right now my hair is blow dried but I naturally have wavy curly hair so after applying my cream and my gel I go in with this or sometimes just directly after my cream I go in with this and then add the gel and then scrunch it all this is fantastic if you have loose waves if you have waves that simply just don't get that coil or that texture or that natural wavy finish then this is a product you need to invest in I got this from my Bahrain travel in April and I've been using it whenever I style my wavy hair this is fantastic I don't know where to get it in India I honestly don't know but if you have friends and family in the Middle East or in America or London or wherever you can ask them to get this for you because this is so good it is something else the way it defines your curls even if you have super coily hair this is gonna work so well the next two products are actually skincare from Kiro Kiro launched their serums you guys how cool is that I'm a huge fan of Kiro I've been going on and on about their makeup for so long and this was a huge surprise when they launched skincare i think this is going to be the first step into skincare of many more steps you know they're going to definitely launch some more products so i'm really stoked about that because these have performed really well for me so this is the 0.5 percent encapsulated retinol with 0.5 percent hyaluronic acid this is extremely lightweight you guys perfect if you are a beginner to retinol so this is what the texture looks like it's a milky white serum and it sinks into the skin like like a dream it's extremely nourishing you guys it's so beautiful for beginners especially it's also got hyaluronic acid which really smoothens and plumps the skin so this you can layer with just a basic moisturizer so face wash toner this serum and a moisturizer and that's about it now use retinols in your nighttime 
skincare routine, not in the daytime, especially because in the daytime we are in the balcony, we're sitting in front of windows, we're traveling to work, and you want to protect your skin because retinol really improves the cell turnover, so it's going to expose newer, fresher skin, and that's going to be sensitive to UVA and UVB rays. So use this only in your nighttime routine. If you're indoors like me and you're going to be sitting in your hall away from windows, then you can use it in your daytime. But ideally, it's best to use this in the PM routine. Now on my skin type, a 1, 1 1.5, and 2% retinol works really well because I've been using retinol since I was a teen. But on days when I'm doing acne treatments and my skin is really compromised because of all the salicylic acid, BHAs and everything, I cannot go back to my 2% or 1 or 1.5% retinol routines. I need to start again from 0.5, 0.8 and so on. So this is something that I can use on those days and it definitely shows results. Now the next one is the 10% vitamin C serum. This is the 3 o ethyl ascorbic acid. You guys, the derivative that I absolutely love. It's literally like water. Look at that. It sinks into the skin like a dream. You don't even feel like you have a serum on your skin. Like I need to be really careful because this is quite watery look at that it feels like water literally like water and it's so easy to layer in your skincare it doesn't feel sticky so if you have oily combination acne prone skin you can still layer this because this doesn't feel heavy you can easily go in with a niacinamide underneath if you'd like to or just with a moisturizer on top and then go in with the sunscreen this layers beautifully with all my skincare products i'm a huge fan of this Kiro really nailed it with these formulations, you guys. They have two more serums. I'm definitely going to get my hands on them and try them out. But this is so good. Look at that. And it's non-sticky. This one has completely dried out the retinol. It is non-sticky. And this right here, I love these so much. If you are a beginner to skincare and you're looking for stable, good, hydrating and lightweight serums, then these are definitely something you should check out. And this one, especially the 10% vitamin C, is great for anybody who's also not a beginner because for a lot of people, 10% works really well. So for me, I don't necessarily need a 20, 21, 22% unless I have very, very stubborn acne marks. A 10, 12, 15 works really well for me on very, very normal days as well. So this is something I strongly recommend and do that packaging is so beautiful just look at that i cannot wait to see new skincare launches from the brand because i'm so impressed with these serums now the next item is this hair tool right here from alan truman this is a blow dry brush and this is fantastic you guys it's been a month and a half or two months now that i've been using it i finally got the hang of using it because i've never used something like this before now this has three settings cool low and high so usually when i'm blow drying my hair you need to use this on damp hair not on completely wet hair i use the high setting to dry my hair and then give it that shape then i go in low and then i do a nice cool blast later to calm the cuticles it is so lightweight you guys i thought it's going to be really heavy but it's not the reviews were pretty mixed online and i didn't know like how to go about it i just bought it and i was like okay let's see if it works if it doesn't at least it's going to blow dry my hair but it does a fantastic job it gives you a very relaxed blow dry so this is something that is very relaxed if i want a straight blow dry it gives me a solid straight blow dry as well but i didn't want to go for that today if you have very very thick hair this might not work for you if you have chemically straightened hair again this might not work for you just a heads up if you have super super coily hair this won't work it's just not meant for that i love this so much to it i'm so happy i got this because i've been eyeing an item like this for very very long i got so tired of holding a brush in one hand and a blow dryer in the other hand this is like an all-in-one and um i absolutely love it it's value for money now the next two products are makeup related these are from debastri beauty debastri is an indian youtuber content creator she's been around for quite some time and she launched her own beauty brand and this is something i really wanted to try for the longest time but then they had this amazing sale so i got my hands on this this is so easy to work with you guys the finish on the face looks so good very very long lasting i mean you can sweat it out and this is not gonna budge so this is in one swipe i've done a pretty shabby job but this looks really nice on the eyelids with the white i feel like i need to go twice because it doesn't give me that opaque finish and the product doesn't um, last well it doesn't settle well i need to go twice but the green is super pigmented and this works really well if you want to do dots if you want to do graphic liner i'm really impressed with these however i noticed that when my skin got really oily and i rubbed my face the eyeliner kind of just moved out like the whole dot just moved completely so it, it was like this 
peel off thing that I was kind of shocked with. So I don't know what I did wrong, but I'm going to try and experiment a little more with this. But definitely from my experience of all white eyeliners, this does not budge. A lot of white liners will get very chalky and they look really weird on the eyelids, especially if you have oily eyelids like mine. But this doesn't do none of that. I am so impressed. And this is also vegan. Even those Kiro serums are vegan. Kiro is a completely vegan brand. So these are pretty much good to go from my side. This white is giving me a little bit of a trouble but I'm gonna try and figure out a way to use this the best way the next one is the daily defense moisturizing sunscreen from brass luxury oils this is called Solaris this is one of my all-time favorite sunscreens these days it is so dewy but so lightweight it doesn't give you any white cast and you can easily layer makeup on top of this this works like a really nice primer I'm gonna quickly swatch it right here it is brilliant you guys look at that it just absorbs like a dream into the skin and it makes you feel like this glowing goddess the ingredient list on this is superb as well so it's not just a sunscreen that protects your skin it's also something that's going to heal your skin gradually because rask can never go wrong with their ingredients man it's one of my favorite brands out there definitely on the pricey side because it does come under luxury but i have a coupon code i'm going to leave it on the screen you can use it to get i think 10 percent off look at that you guys so soft and this smells heavenly I love Rass Luxury Oils products because they have this beautiful amalgamation of ingredients and the fragrances are just something else you guys as much as I love my matte sunscreens on some days especially with my acne treatments I have so many like even right here my makeup is cracking I have a lot of dry patches on my skin I simply cannot use matte sunscreens because they just ball up all around these dry patches so I need something that's extremely dewy and this is the one that I've been reaching out for the most these days 10 on 10 recommended if you have the budget for this definitely check it out the next two items are napkins you guys look at that look at this color story this is actually a beige but it looks pretty white on the screen and this is a nice tan color this has the waffle texture going on these are so soft and smooth on the skin this is from akiko i hope i'm saying the name right it's an indian brand carbon neutral sustainable I really want to get my hands on their tote so this was gifted to me by the brand but i want to buy that tote because i do carry a lot of tote bags when i go shopping or if i'm going to the cafe to read a book this is superb what i like about this is majority of their products are unbleached pretty ethical stuff you know they're going to decompose really well and for me i always carry a napkin with me something that is smooth and soft on my skin microfiber is great but it doesn't recycle so i wanted something that you know is ethical it's sustainable and it kind of resonates with my bigger purpose so this is something and this brand honestly is something that is very close to my heart i love this a lot the next one is a squalene bubblegum lip serum and honestly you guys this smells like old school bubblegum. It just takes me back to my childhood. This is so nourishing on the skin. It is so lightweight. It's non-sticky. It absorbs like a dream into your lips and it doesn't feel heavy. A lot of these lip oils and lip serums feel very heavy on the lips, but this doesn't do any of that. It doesn't break you out around the mouth because it's not very oily, greasy and heavy. So this doesn't help with fading hyperpigmentation around the lips. This is solely for deep conditioning your lips, moisturizing your lips and improving the texture because squalane is like a godsend if you have dry lips if you have dry skin in general it is one of the best products in an anti-aging routine because it really improves the skin texture the next one is one of the new launches from nika this is the eye color palette in number seven brunch party this is what it looks like on my eyes this is so compact all the colors are beautiful they're so pigmented i've used all of the colors for this eye makeup look i've used this color right here the bright pinkish mauve that you can see then i've used this one right here on the inner corner i've used this one on the lid and i use this to blend it all out i'm a huge fan of nika eyeshadows i love those 10 in 1 eyeshadows i've been going on and on about those forever now it's also vegan friendly they have multiple colors in this range this was sent to me in pr recently and i am in love with this i love it so much the next one is a new lip gloss that i bought like two weeks ago this is not from the nika sale this is the kiko number 21 3d hydro gloss i love the hydro glosses from kiko this color is perfect if you have dusky skin tone if you have an indian skin tone look at that color you guys this just with a brown lip liner that's it you don't need anything else this looks so good on the lips this is something that i've been using literally every single time i step out it is fantastic and kiko glosses are extremely glossy they're as good as the lime crime lip glosses look at that color you guys it's the perfect brown and when you apply it on your lips it doesn't feel extremely pigmented brown like it gives you these moments of pigment it doesn't have any glitter it doesn't have any shimmer it's just a glossy lip color and i have now 
8 lip glosses from Kiko. I'm a huge fan of Kiko lip glosses. You've heard me go on and on about them. This is a newfound love of mine. I love the shade number 21. The next one is a book by Dr. Kiran Sethi. It's called Skin Sense. This is perfect if you want to understand your body, skin and hair a whole lot better. If you're a beginner to skincare or even if you're really fond of skincare, body care and hair care, this is a book that's going to really open your eyes to a lot of things on how you can holistically improve the quality of your skin, understanding what ingredients work. So for example, you understand what PA++++ means in sunscreen. So this is something that is extremely informative. So right here, you've got how to heal your gut. What are the factors that affect your gut now? Now, honestly when I go food poisoning my skin went for a toss like all these acne marks like right now they're covered really well you can still see them poking through my skin got really bad so all of this like we are what we eat mindfulness you know PCOS treatments skincare in your 40s even if you're not a skincare enthusiast you can read this to understand your body a whole lot better and understand what could or could not work for you now the next item right here is this bag the tote bag that I've been going on and on about this is made of recycled plastic wrappers you guys look at that look at the finishing so beautiful it's got this lining of cotton inside perfect if you're going to the beach perfect if you're going grocery shopping so this is the brand right here eco Kari, and i got to know about them on instagram when one of their reels went viral so all of this right here is plastic you guys this is all plastic and otherwise it's going to be landfill so what they do is they take all of these they sanitize them wash them really well dry them and then cut them into these very thin like portions and then they weave it using indian traditional hand loom techniques and then they make this right here how beautiful this is so groovy you guys i love this so much i cannot wait to get some more bags from this brand i bought this with my own money this is not pr and i love it so much i love how spacious this is it has a zip very very functional you can also donate your plastic wrappers to them so i'm going to leave all the information on the screen but definitely check them out on instagram they make extremely informative reels on the entire process of how they collect plastic how they go about creating stuff like this i made a separate reel on instagram also on this because i was so impressed with the quality of this the next one is blush bomb from flower beauty and i've already used a shade i think melon from this it's not very long lasting it's really nice but it's not long lasting but this shade right here bitten this shade is so pretty you guys you need like a tiny dot i'm being so careful oh god i think i got too much i know it looks like it's really less but once it blends out it is super pigmented look at that it just blends like a dream it goes on and on this is way more long lasting than the melon color that i have it also looks really nice on indian skin tone very cool toned as well so it looks really nice on my neutral cool tone skin this looks so good you guys so this was sent to me in pr recently and i am so impressed so the melon shade i think that is the name of that shade it's not as long lasting as this it also doesn't give you this high level of pigment so if you have brown skin tone especially like mine or darker or if you have more yellows to your skin tone this will pop a little more because that has a nice peachy undertone that just fades away the next one is the rice water hair mask and this one is from wish care i love this so much you guys it is so underrated it's got this beautiful slip it nourishes your hair i've used quite a lot of this already i got this in pr a while ago like i'm gonna say about six seven months ago but i only started using it about two three months ago and i am in love with this it nourishes your hair so well it reduces frizz you don't even have to use a leave-in after this honestly if you are a curly girl and you want something that's going to deeply nourish your hair that's going to give you enough slip in the shower to detangle your hair then this is something you should definitely check out it's also vegan it's cruelty free it's a homegrown brand i absolutely love it i love their sunscreen as well i love their vitamin c serum as well and their rice water range is amazing their shampoo conditioner and this all right we have the last item here and this is from H&M these are mats to place your dishes on now these are actually really big I did not expect them to be this big I thought they would be slightly smaller so I can't really use them on my dinner table because I don't have the biggest dinner table out there it's a table for six so if I place one of this I have occupied a lot of space you know what I mean what I've started doing with this is I have used this for all of my product backdrops. So if I'm recording some content like for products, I would place it on this and then shoot the video. So in a lot of my reels and shorts, you would have seen that I use this as a backdrop. Really good quality, very, very sturdy. I think this is great even if you're going for picnics and you have a picnic spread out there, you can use this because it's extremely sturdy.
And that's it, you guys. Those are all the random products that I've really been enjoying. Let me know in the comments if you've tried any of these products. What was your experience like? If you have any recommendations for me that you want me to try out, leave them in the comments as well. I really hope you enjoyed watching today's video. If you did, then please hit the like button so that I know you enjoyed watching it. I am going to take your leave now, guys. But before I go, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and check out my previous videos right here. I will catch you all in the next video. So then take care of yourselves. Bye.